Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. In today's video, come along with us. We are going to get our pigs today. And I've been ready for pigs for like a month. We're running a little bit behind. We've got them this late before though, and they grow out just fine. Uh, it's just been a few years. Usually we get them around beginning the middle of March, and here we are at the first weekend in April. So anyways, uh, gotta do that, and gotta get these meat chickens out to pasture, and I guess we'll see what else we get into today. So hope y'all enjoy. I wanna show y'all what it takes to go get uh, a gang of pigs around here. So not only do we uh, butcher our pigs as a family, we go get pigs as a family too. So we got daddy up there in front of me pulling the trailer. Got mama and the rest of my crowd back there in the back seat. And back there behind us is Aaron, which y'all probably know from Sparks Forge. Um, he's behind us. We're all going to get our pigs together. And uh, yeah, it uh, seems like it takes a crowd of people to go get a crowd of pigs, don't it? Y'all don't back up from the trailer there. They may not run on there if y'all standing there. Y'all watch out up there. <laughs> this right here might be the easiest we ever loaded pigs. All of these right here ain't going to us. They're going to my sister and my daddy and us. I'm, we're getting six again this year. Boy, ain't they pretty. Well, we're all loaded up and we're heading back towards the house. We got about a, what is it, an hour and 10, 15 minute ride. I guess we'll stop and eat us some lunch and go unload some piggies. There they are. Does that satisfy you? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That's a pretty one. Alright. Daddy, what do you want? Well, there's our six. It's the last place they'll ever go in their life. Live the rest of their life here. So now we gotta go unload my sister's. She's got four in there, and my daddy has what 10 yeah okay so we got to go unload daddy's 10 and my sister's four and that'll be it with the pigs but feels pretty good to have pigs don't it megan well y'all we're fixing our new little pigs their first gourmet meal here at the farm so that's going to consist of some extra eggs we have and some extra milk what better way to use them than to put them back in the farm and to grow some delicious pork so we're gonna fix them a little slop.
How much feed you gonna put in there, Maggie? Mm -hmm. Do you know where your stick's at? Yeah, it's behind mom over there. That's Let me have a stick back there behind you, mama. No, I know how to make it. Oh, you're gonna do it all. There you go. You'll have them spoiled if you feed them like this right here every day. Huh? Fill their water up. Well, they don't need no water right now. I need to get in there before you pour that in there. I'm gonna get in there and tie these lids up. Make sure not scare You can't help but scare them. <laughs> so Andy ties that up like that when they're little to show them that's where the food is. Yeah, they don't. For now, they don't know that they're supposed to open that lid up. But it don't take them long to figure it out, does no, it? Not at all. <clears throat> all right, Maggie, I'm going to get out of here. It'll take them. They may not even come to this feed right now when you pull it in there. Well, they don't know. It, yeah, they're jumpy and they're scared. Brand new place. Are you ready? Yes. You want me to pull it in? All right, here, piggies. Y'all probably ain't never had no slop. Yeah, you're just probably gonna have to leave them alone this go around. They ain't figured it out. But so now that we got the little pigs took care of, we gotta get the meat chickens from my little brooder house out to the chicken tractor. It is time. Um, they have stayed in the brooder house longer than I want them to just because of some cool nights, but we don't have any of those uh, in the near future, not down in the 30s anyway, and they should be just fine from here on out, out in the chicken tractor. So me and Maggie Moo's about to get them caught. <laughs> Dang, if I didn't work up a sweat. You just gonna set it in there? Yep. I will not it. I don't care what anybody says. I think a meat chicken is the stinkiest animal you can have on a farm. They Pigs if, smell better than these things. If they're still. Yeah, if they're still. They'll be all right once they get out here. But gosh. I'll go get them some So while we're at it, we just have got the chicks out of here. We might as well clean it out as well. And y'all all know probably just how nasty meat chickens can get. So this right here is nothing but a mixture of manure and fresh wood chips. I, th I know that fresh wood chips will rob nitrogen from the soil and fresh chicken manure is pretty hot. So I'm kind of hoping that they kind of cancel each other out and we're gonna throw this on our raised beds over here cause this is still gonna be I don't know, a few weeks or so before we actually plant them. So the chicken manure ought to have time to cool down just a little bit before that. But um, it's a sort of act like a, wouldn't you say like a mulch? Yeah. On top of it? Yeah. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We've never put this on a raised bed before. We have spread it out here in poor parts of the pasture and it's amazing how green it turns 
after you put that on there. But um, we're gonna put it in our raised beds this year. There's still a lot of wood chips left in there. That'll be good enough. We may regret putting this on here, but I don't see what it's gonna hurt. As time will tell for sure. I wouldn't be doing it if we was gonna plant directly into it like right now. But since we've got us a little while, a little window here, I think it'll be just fine. Y'all tell us what you think about that. Was that a mistake? Or do you think our raised beds are gonna be hopping and popping this year? I really don't know. But don't hurt to try, does it? I think it'll be just fine. This one right here has got chicken manure out of the egg chickens on it. Y'all probably seen that in the previous video. This one's got a little bit of the meat chicken clean outs on it. We still got a few greens in there. We're slowly feeding to the chickens. And our broccoli has really come out. It's looking really good right now. It's looking looking real good, really. And then we've also put some of the chicken manure out of the uh, meat chickens on this bed too. So like I said, we may uh, find out in about a month that we've made a big mistake, but how else are you gonna know if you don't try it? Maggie, tell them what you got. I got these two, I got these two kittens. Ain't they pretty? They're scared. What are they scared of? They're scared of tiger. Ah, oh, I don't think they're scared of tiger. Tiger, you gonna hurt a kitten? Ain't they pretty? This one's spicy, but that's the spiciest. Maggie spoils every single one of them, don't you? Mm-hmm. This is their jail for today. This is their jail. It's their jail cell. Mm -hmm. Tell them what. You, why are you training? What are you trying to do right now? Training them for me, these two twins. Cause Meemaw wants wants those two, right? So you want to try to make them calm for me, Ma? Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job at it. You don't give this, them no choice. This one's Feisty, and this one's Little Tom. We haven't named those two. Yet. What's this one's name? Feisty. Feisty. Cause that was the feistiest. Oh, okay. But you haven't named those two. No. <laughs> what is it, black and white one? Oh me. Well, it's a little bit later in the day. Megan's up there milking her cow. And uh, we're gonna come back down here and check on the check on the little piggies. Maggie is, I think she's worried about them. She says we gotta go feed them again. Maggie, they probably don't need no more food right now. Did they eat it? Most of it. Yeah, they've rooted around in it. It's going to take them a little while to get get used to our feed and everything. And they're not kind of scared. Yeah, they're still pretty nervous. Can we get in there? If you get in there, you just need to sit still. Don't move around. Look at that little dog ears. Yeah, that red one right there, it's pretty. 
And then let me rub it. They've calmed down a little bit. At least I ain't going to run. They only do that to pick them up. <laughs> Ain't it funny how they curl up like that? Yeah, they get right on top of each other, don't they? Three, we have three doggy ears, right? Yeah, that that one right there's got ears look like uh, tigers, where they fold over. Yeah, they three of them. <laughs> So y'all, the lady that we got the uh, pigs from, we'll have her Facebook link in the uh, video description. If you're interested in it, and honestly, if you're anywhere in North Carolina or, or the southern part of Virginia, you could probably get in, get up with her. Actually, she has people come from all over the East Coast buying pigs from her. But um, she's down in Thomasville, North Carolina. So if anybody is anywhere close to Thomasville, North Carolina, and you're interested in getting some pigs we'll put a link in the video description for her for her facebook and you can get in touch with her there she sells a lot of pigs so you know it may be hard to to get your name on the list but if you're interested you can get your name on the list and she can probably hook you up with you can see some really nice pigs they're just scared they, they're going to be that way for the first day or two yeah this right here is exactly why we pin them up in this little building because if you didn't and you had them just turned loose out there in that lot, you'd never be able to fool with them. Nope. They get out, you'd never see them again. Exactly. <laughs> Better not be in there with them, Tiger. You want to see them? <laughs> Tiger's like, let me down. Well, she wanted to see them. She, there they are. Look at them. She ain't looking. She's like hanging up. What are you doing with your back leg? Supper's ready. I gotta fix my plate, but we're having some fried pork chops, uh, corn on the cob, and this is actually just some really thinly sliced sweet potatoes, and I cook them kind of like um, fried apples. My grandma used to cook them kind of that way, so I do that occasionally. Just change it up a little bit. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I hope you might have learned a little something, and anyways, till we see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one. Bye! Looks good, don't it? Catch y'all on the next one.